Hey everybody, I'm making a quick video here to show people how to recalibrate a quadrajet. Quadrajets are different than, say, a Holley aftermarket carburetor, which will work on many different size engines. Uh, the difference with a quadrajet is it is specifically designed and calibrated for each vehicle that it came originally on. And the way the factory does that is these, where am I here? These holes, these passages for the idle circuit, the fuel goes down. The factory puts in several restrictions as in the idle tube here. Let's see if I can get that to focus. See that little hole in the end? Where are you? Focus. Come on. Anyway, that hole in the end of the idle tube is measurable and is calculated. It is possible to recalibrate it using a pen vise and a drill bit to enlarge it. Now, this is going originally, it came on a 231 cubic inch V6 with a turbo. And now I'm going to put it on a 300 cubic inch Ford inline six with the horsepower of a 390. So it is going to need some more fuel in the idle circuit. And the way that I'm going to do this is going by a book by a master quadrajet builder named Cliff Ruff Ruggles. Cliff Ruggles, sorry. And he has formulas in the book depending on your engine size and the build which will get you on the right track so what I do the first thing is you go and you resize the idle tubes according to his formula then you come over here and you resize the idle restrictions simply by drilling them to a specified amount in his formulas okay uh, the thing about a quadrajet is it takes patience I'm going to be making these changes and then I will have to run it pull the carburetor off if it doesn't work right recalibrate uh, whatever needs to be recalibrated slightly and go from there uh, the payoff however uh, once you hit it right you're going to be seeing great power, instantaneous throttle response, and great gas mileage. Thank you.